The way I did this effect is I put three pictures uh, on tracks one, two, and three. You can see the, uh, the picture of two, two of the same girl and a guy in the middle. Now, as I'm looking, I can, I've lined up the eyes and the, um, the, the approximate sizes. As I'm looking at this girl, probably should have just uh, rotated her uh, from left to right by 180 degrees, and that way the girl is looking at, uh, both girls are looking at the guy. So that's kind of how I did that, um, the, the basic pictures. So now I introduce the, uh, the torn paper effect, which was my homemade effect. And uh, what that started out as is um, basically started out on a cork board. But when I tried to chroma key that cork background out, there was too much black in it and it started to affect the picture above. So then I decided that what I was going to do is kind of take that same view, that was the view I was going to use, uh, put a orange file folder behind it and uh, that way I could use the uh, the color uh, tab on chroma key to uh, remove the orange. Now you can see uh, I sized and positioned that. Uh, I actually I think I turned off the aspect ratio so that I could get it uh, exactly the way I wanted it to look. But you still see some of the orange in the background. That's why I would use green if I were doing this again. So the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to replicate uh, that three more times and then just using size, position, uh, and mirror uh, both horizontally and vertically uh, I would gradually add to the effect to make it a little more uh, uh, robust or solid and you can see on the, uh, the bottom of each track um, that uh, I use different types of mirror, horizontal, vertical, uh, and I just use different size and positions to kind of build up the, uh, the effect a little bit more than what I'd done on the board originally. So now we've got our effect there. Next thing that I wanted was I, I needed to have sort of that white uh, background uh, going through the eyes so that I could put a black title on it. So I just uh, brought in a white background and sized it down. Now sometimes to get it this small size you're going to actually have to use the uh, height numbers instead of trying to drag it uh, because otherwise it might uh, not work out very well. Then I added in the title uh, using uh, spaces and font size to just get uh, the words to center over the individual or the phrases to center over each individual's uh, eyes. Then I didn't like the bottom so I just introduced a uh, sort of a gradient type background to uh, just give it a little more interest because it was just too uh, you know sharp and cut. Then I just brought in the titles one at a time. So there's the, uh, the, the top title, the Eternal Sunshine title, and uh, finally the uh, of, of the Spotless Mind subtitle. I didn't put all the others in there, of course. So now I'd like to talk just a little bit about how they did that original. Uh, that original photograph, if you look real, really closely, uh, the way they did it was they took one smaller uh, effect and then just replicated three times uh, across the, uh, the, the three different faces. They also looks like they used uh, some newspaper down at the bottom. Uh, they got some jagged edges at the top. They probably did those tops and the bottoms with scissors. Uh, the others were tears and then they just colored them to look a little bit differently. Uh, if I were doing this again I would also put a fairly narrow piece of white paper just behind this old uh, the whole effect um, and that way when I put my green uh, at the very back I'd already have the white part in there and it would follow the contours of the uh, inside of the effect and so when you have your green background you'll chroma key that out and those edges will uh, will not be straight uh, they'll, you'll, you'll be able to see them um, uh, see through that chroma key uh, green background and uh, that should work out pretty well. I hope this helps. Um, I should have probably put more effort into building this uh, the effect but uh, I'm sure it's just as easy as that.